Good morning, everybody. This is Evan HDX Realtor. This week, we're doing a video talking about down payment. So, you know, a lot of people know about the down payment, and you know, it's 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 pretty common knowledge. So today, we're going to talk about calculating the down payment. It's a pretty pretty easy thing to do, and it what you know, kind of the goal of this video is to kind of give you an idea of of where you're at. You know what I mean? Because if you can calculate down payment, you know what that initial goal is. And then once you hit that initial goal, you can then, you know, start working towards having those additional, you know. So on your screen right now, we're going to calculate the um, down payment for like, say, a $100,000 house. Uh, because sometimes them percents kind of throw people off, you know what I mean? Especially when we get past like 100000 then it's like, you know, the percentage just goes crazy. I'm not a math major, you know what I mean? But even I can do these kind of calculations and you can too. I mean, it's fairly simple. I got a dollar store calculator here and uh, I can crank out some down payments just like that. So let's say it's a hundred, we're gonna do start with a hundred and then maybe we'll do like 250 or something like that just to kind of, you know, spice it up a little bit. So if you got a $100,000 uh, property, right? $100,000 property, put that on the screen. All right, now, if we're gonna calculate, say, 3.5% down for like an FHA deal, right? That means you need to get your calculator, click multiply, 0.035, okay? Enter. So that would mean that you would need to put down potentially $3,500, all right? We pretty, pretty straightforward there. Right there, right off the bat, you know your down payment is gonna be $3,500. So at minimum, you need to have at least that, you know what I mean? So that should be your first goal. And then, you know, say you need to have an additional 5% for uh, closing costs, right? Just, just an example here. On that same deal, right? So we're already at $3,500. That's your down payment. Now, say you need to have an additional 5% 5 for uh, closing costs. We're gonna go back to that original number hundred thousand we're gonna multiply that 0 0.05 it's five percent so now we got closing costs at five thousand right so now we know that our down payment is thirty five hundred and we know that our closing costs five percent of the deal it's about five thousand so like I said we're breaking it down now okay easy numbers right here we're gonna put them put them back in our calculator on the screen you'll see thirty five hundred plus 5,000 at $8,500, all right? Here, what we're doing is we're starting to break down the numbers, all right? You know, because I, I believe that in order to achieve any goal, you really, you need to be specific and you need to know exactly, you know what I mean, what it is that you're trying to do and how you're gonna complete that goal. You need to break it down into little manageable pieces so that you can, you know, how do you eat a cake? I always say it. I've learned this before, the best way to eat cake is one piece at a time. So we're breaking it down into pieces so we can eat this whole cake. That's the idea here. So now we got down payment, we got closing costs, we're at $8,500. So right now, you know, in this particular, if you're buying a $100,000 house, you know what I mean? You need to have at least $8,500 to bring to the closing table at the end of the day in order to seal the deal on this property, right? I'm not, this is just a hypothetical. So it's, the idea here is just to get your calculator going. So let's jump up. We just did a $100,000 house. You got all your numbers, your examples on the screen right here. So let's go ahead and jump up a little bit. Let's say you got approved for like a $235,000 house, right? Okay, same thing, right? Let's spice it up a little bit. Let's do, say you need to put 20% down, okay? You know? Now we're gonna get a little bit more technical for you. We gotta put 20% down, it's a $235,000 house. How much down do you need to put? So you know how to do the math now. You got 235 is purchase price, right? And you know it's 20% down. So what do I need to put in the calculator? Let's think about it. Yes, right, you, you're right. You need to put 235 times point, now remember before we did point 035. That was because we were doing 3%. Now we're doing 20. So what do you think you need to put in now? That's right. 0 0.20 for 20%. So 235 purchase price, right? We're going to put it on the screen. 
times 20%. All right, we're just doing down payment. So right now, that would mean that your down payment, if you're gonna put 20% down, would be about 47,000, okay? Boom, right there. Now you know, that's our next goal. You're trying to buy a $235,000 $235, house, you're trying to put 20% down, maybe it's an owner finance deal, maybe it's a conventional deal, maybe, you know, 100 different scenarios. So now you can move your goal to 47,000, okay? So, you know, it, basically the idea here is so that you can start knowing, you know what I mean? Because it's one thing to say, I wanna buy a house. Somebody's telling me, oh, I gotta have a down payment. They said it's some percent, I don't know. You know what I mean? This is how you know. This is how you learn so that you can start having an idea. All right, so now we got to get 47,000. You know, what do I need to do? Man, let's sell some house. Let's, you know, we got that car real expensive. It's, uh, you know, that monthly payment's eating me up. Uh, you know, I financed the deal. It's a $23,000 car. Let's sell it. Maybe they'll give me 17,000 for it. You go to the car lot, get you a $7,000 car, cash, and now you got 10,000 that you can put in a savings account. Boom. You know, now we just need 37,000 in that, you know, that 47,000 example, you know, so we start chipping that down, you know, oh man, look, I got my retirement account, you know, I've saved up, maybe I got 10,000 in there, boom, got another 10,000. So now that you know how to calculate it, you know how to start, now you can start chipping away at it, you know what the number is. So that's basically how to uh, calculate down payments. Um... This is a pretty standard thing to do. And in anything you're doing, you gotta know what your down payment is. And even just to calculate percents, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. You can do it, if I can do it with a dollar store calculator, I promise to God you can do it. Uh, I'm Evan HTX Realtor. If you found any value in this video, please like, subscribe, shoot me a comment. You know, tell me that if you already knew how to do percents before this, tell me what you learned from this video, you know? Uh, as always, be safe drive safe and drink water people. I'll catch y'all in the next one.